What up, world? Everything is just amazing. Just amazing. So, COVID-19 is pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's killing a lot of people, man. It's killing a lot of people. And a lot of people already had it and really don't realize it. There's a lot going on, a lot going on. But, welcome to PJ's Thoughts. Today, I wanted to talk about 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. What does 7-Eleven stand for? Seven days a week? 11 hours? I don't know. Uh, hey, babe, what does 7 Eleven stand for? Mommy, we did it! I know it's your birthday. But what does the actual 7 Eleven stand for? I don't know. I sneak you, but. I don't know either. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Bear with me right now because. This was the thought of the day. 7. Oh, no, no, that's not even about it. What does seven? George! Eleven. Yeah. So let's go to Google. The company's first outlets were in Dallas, named Totem Stores, because customers toted away their purchases. In 1946, the chains name was changed to Totem to 7-Eleven to reflect the company's news extended hours 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. seven days a week 7-Eleven Totem oh so there we have it 7-Eleven over from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. I figured it was something like that I just didn't understand the equation. So, nineteen forty-six. Yep, nineteen forty-six is when this business boomed or came established. Today is twenty twenty. There's a whole crisis out right now. Do you not think that they were ahead of their time to now where they are essential because they took advantage of a crisis and chose to help people in a time of need? 7-11. They extended their hours. They based their name on that monumental moment for that company 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. as of right now they are essential those stores might start to close due to COVID-19. How do you get the resources to keep these stores stocked? Now the kicker is the fact that they've been in play for so long this two trillion dollars as a protection bailout plan bill, whatever it is. They will get the money first Versus of the small businesses that that money was made for. Money is coming out. It's being printed out of nowhere. The value of the dollar is slowly going down. People are not aware. Once 7-Eleven starts cutting back on their employees, Think about the other businesses that are not even up to par 
with 7-Eleven. 1946. Any company established after that is not prepared for this situation. So there will be cutbacks. <laughs> there will be cutbacks throughout the whole company. People have already lost their jobs and don't even know it. Because it hasn't happened yet. But we see the unemployment rates. It's funny how the news isn't really talking about it as much. But thousands and thousands of people are still applying new every day. And the numbers that we're seeing are only related to the past, the history, which was mapped out over years. We're hitting those numbers in a matter of weeks. Great Depression, the recession, 2008. Now, it's a lot. It's really a lot going on. And people are either going to be ahead of this thing or behind it. Which brings me to why. I kind of got lost in thought there. But this kind of brings me why to why I'm even decided to start recording myself and post these videos is because I have a lot of knowledge, apparently, as you can see from watching this, if you chose to watch it, about what's going on in current events. And for me to not even share that knowledge is ignorant because not everybody Especially now when they tell you not to watch the news as much because it's a lot of negativity and you're not making your endorphins, you're, you're not experiencing happening, you're getting depressed, suicide rates are not up, but calls are up. I mean, I'm a whole maintenance man. I'm still working. I'm an essential worker. I mean, they don't really talk about us like that, but yes, I am. And it just so happens, you know, like, we deal with stuff, too. Like, someone tried to commit suicide on one of these properties that I work under. You know, I don't want to go into detail about the location or whatever have you. But, you know, he, he took it, the whole car and crashed into a bunch of stuff trying to commit suicide. I mean, you know, this COVID-19 is really, really uh, nothing to fuck with. Like, I don't really know how else to say it. Like, that's really how I feel. And, you know, this is my page, so I'm going to say it. So, yes, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. Because now you get to really see what it's going to be about and how I'm coming. Because, yes, I don't have to hold my tongue for nobody now. There's a reset button that's just been pushed. And the whole purpose of me making this video now is to because if I withhold the information that I know and not share it, then that is something to me that is selfish. I can save a life. I can relay information that I'm getting from reliable sources to people that they can't reach. I am not a branch. I'm not a leaf. I'm not the trunk. I am part of the roots. You did it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at you guys. <laughs> Kids are playing Legos on the Xbox. I like the Legos games, but the story's been like so long, man. So long. I fall asleep a lot. I really do. When every time I play it, I fall asleep. But hey, that's life. Ah, man. It's 10 o'clock, end of the day. Still working. Long hours. Did nine hours today, a little more, nine and a half. PJ's thoughts, man. 7-Eleven. Didn't know what that stands for. Stand for, stood for. But now I do. Maybe you will now too, if, in case you didn't know. 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Wow, I open 24 hours.